Hello there. I want to welcome you. My name is Sean Hart and I am the co-founder of Post Purchase Pro. Okay. Now I've been in Amazon for quite some time now and actually it's been since late 2013 as a matter of fact. And I've been personally responsible for over $150 million in sales of my own private label products on Amazon and over $1 billion in sales of products for our coaching clients in over 53 countries. My business partner, Seth Stevens and I, we've launched over 1,000 of our own unique private label products on Amazon. And to date, we have sold 17 of those businesses. In today's presentation, I'm going to be showing you five unique seller strategies. Number one is the fastest way that you can use to double your or triple your current Amazon sales in 30 days or less. Crazy, right? Also, I'm going to show you the best way to build an Amazon listing that cannot be ignored by any buyers out there on Amazon. A lot of fun. And I'm going to show you the only way to launch a new product and be successful every single time without fail. I'm going to show you the easiest way to gain page rank while making all your paid traffic profitable. Finally, I'm going to show you how to do profitable product launching without having to use ads or rebate launches, which if in case you don't know, rebate launches uh, recently have been completely outlawed by the Amazon terms of service. All right. Strategy one is what we call creative cloning. Then we're going to talk about what I call the Amazon listing value stack. This is the best way to build an Amazon listing that cannot be ignored. that stands out above all other listings on Amazon. In strategy three, I'm going to show you what we call the Amazon listing tripwire. And this, my friend, is the only way to launch a new product and be successful every time. In strategy four, we're going to dig into what we call the Amazon AOV funnel for average order value, of course. And this is the easiest way to gain page rank while making all your paid traffic profitable. Sound good? And then we're going to finish up today with strategy number five, which is what we call rapid ranking without rebates. Okay. This is how to uh, do a profitable product launch without using paid ads or rebates. And I know that sounds good to you. When Seth and I began our Amazon Jersey journey back in uh, 2013, we got together in 2014 and we didn't really have a blueprint to follow. We definitely didn't have any tools back then. We didn't have a mentor. We had no experience selling online, but we had some, what I want to call very unique skills that we had learned from other industries. And you'll find out more about that real soon. We were able to use these skills that we learned in these other industries and implement those quickly into our Amazon business. The results for us have been stunning and that's why I'm here today. I want to show you. You'll soon understand how all of this fits in. Okay. When we co-founded our company, which is known as Post Purchase Pro, what we do is we focus full time on helping other sellers out there, just like you, large or small. We want to help make every Amazon customer more valuable for you. You'll find out more real quick. We want to help you obtain very fast growth with what we call successful product launches, immediate search term rankings and positive product reviews. Okay. Reviews are very important. And then finally with, I want you to also see what it's like to have a massive exit payout when you go to sell your business, if that's your goal eventually. And that's what I want to talk about here. Massive exit payouts. Well, what we do is we use business fundamentals. It's going to look like magic, but you'll find out that it's basically just fundamental good business practice, customer nurturing, list growing, relationship building, right? Direct response marketing and many other techniques that others are not doing. But I must warn you, some of what you're about to see may look like magic to you, but I assure you it's really just really good business practices. Most sellers are spoiled though. Okay. Because Amazon is providing you enough traffic to produce new sales every day. And that's great, but you only need to focus on keeping inventory in stock and keeping up with customer service reviews and things like that. I guarantee you right now, you're not doing any real front end marketing 
and you're definitely not doing what we call back-end marketing, which is our post-purchase marketing. But you know what? It's not your fault. It's fine. This is going to change today, though, because you're going to see something that you can never unsee, if you will. The last business that I sold before transitioning to the Amazon era of my career, we sold physical products like this, and we used direct response ads to generate sales using some offline marketing channels like television, newspaper, and radio. We reached $27 million per year using these offline channels. I was able to thankfully sell that business to a private equity group for a little over $13 million about 10 years ago. And after taking a two year break, I was then able to take all of those direct response marketing skills that I learned in the previous industry and then apply those to my Amazon business in late 2013. Now, what we've been able to do is create what we now call irresistible offers or mafia offers on Amazon by stacking up a lot of value using OPP, other people's products and services. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Bear with me here. Our listings never have to compete on price because our offers are just not comparable to anything else that you see out there on Amazon. And then we follow up with our customers using post-purchase marketing to double and triple the profit that we make from every single customer. Don't worry, we're gonna get into that too. I use this exact process, my friend, to hit over $10 million per year on Amazon within the first 18 months. And this was on one single product. And now, as I said before, I've sold over well, now 17 of those Amazon businesses and counting, all right? Now, those businesses are sometimes smaller, ranging from seven or 450,000, rather, up to a $10 million exit that I was responsible for, like this one. Check this out. This simple Amazon brand offered foam-filled bed pillows, and after only two years of Amazon profits, we accepted an offer for $3 million plus inventory. We dominated this, my, this market, which was tiny, with the strategies that I'm showing you today. So we were able to pocket $1.8 million in two years time, and then exit for 3 million plus inventory, which you can see here, 3,360,000. Now, my full-time focus is on delivering better results for Amazon sellers like you through my company, Post Purchase Pro which, as you know now, helps Amazon sellers achieve greater success through what we call post-purchase marketing. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, what is post-purchase marketing? And that's a fair question. Well, post-purchase marketing is this. Basically, post-purchase marketing is all of what we call the magic, okay? And, and all those actions that happen after the initial purchase on Amazon, we use that to produce additional, more profitable sales, higher page ranking, and better natural reviews by systematically re-engaging your customers through several different means. This is what we found the best way to create a real brand and long-term success in Amazon, especially in a competitive market. Make sense? Post-purchase marketing looks like this. It allows you to build a list of raving fans, nurture a real relationship, deliver more value, lower your bad reviews, <clears throat> eliminate returns, and create more sales, all while building a very valuable brand, like you see here, all right? The first sale, right, this first sale, this is just the beginning. It doesn't stop there, okay? What we have to do is we have to generate a, a situation where we nurture a relationship with the customer so that it leads to all this other stuff, opt-ins, offers, conversions, and so on. You'll soon get some more insight, so just bear with me here while I jump in. Today's presentation is gonna be about 45 minutes. We love to use email and text, but why email and text, Sean? Well, email and text, this is the only marketing asset that as a seller, you own forever. This asset, can generate sales, ranking, and reviews on demand anytime you need it. It's better than social media followers, better than rebates, much better than PPC, and 
It's better than chatbots. And you know what? Forget about all those black hat ninja tactics that are going to get your account shut down. Stop hustling and hacking. Start marketing and monetizing. All right? And that's what we're doing here. So when you create a real customer list of fans for your Amazon business, then you know what? You begin to build a real business, not just a transaction. You can create a real brand and you can control the narrative from here on. Raise your profit margins, launch your products, and control your search term ranking. And you know what? You can also generate a huge amount of real product reviews. All right? That's what you're up against here. So strategy number one, we call it creative cloning. What's the simplest and most profitable way to double your business on Amazon? Well, it's a process that we now call creative cloning. All right? Creative cloning is this. It's what all of the biggest physical product brands all around the world are using to grow their sales. Seth and I have simply applied this phenomenon to our Amazon private label business. And this simple but powerful strategy that I'm sharing with you right here has literally taken a $30,000 per month product and turned that into a $300,000 per month cash cow. And we did this in eight short months. We've applied this strategy to 53 of our own private label Amazon brands and countless numbers of other clients that we've shared all over the world in the past eight years. This has worked, okay? We've been using this process to dramatically increase our sales since 2014 on our more than 1,000 unique Amazon private label products. And it's worked, you guessed it, 100% of the time if you apply it correctly. It really, really is that good, my friend, all right? So, let me give you an example. Let's imagine for a moment that you do a whole bunch of product research like you should. You find a good manufacturer. You design beautiful packaging. You perform some very good and extensive keyword research. And then what happens? You build an amazing Amazon listing and it starts selling well. Well, congratulations. You've discovered an opportunity that's profitable and all of your hard work is finally paying off. This doesn't happen every time you launch a new product though, does it? Some, sometimes you get lucky the first time, but not every time. Some products simply don't sell and some products sell at a loss or maybe at break even, but they're not profitable. But when the stars all align correctly, and you have the right product at the right price with the right listing, Amazon is an amazing opportunity and an amazing business. But here's where sellers make a giant mistake. Don't do this. What do you do once you've added a successful product to your brand? What do you do? Well, you start the process all over again. Oh my goodness. And you go out there looking for a product that might be another winner for you. This is dead wrong. Stop doing this. What, would sh what should I do instead though, right? It's simple. Clone your success. Clone your success. Here's what I mean. When you walk into a drugstore with a migraine headache, you might go to Tylenol migraine, right? That's what you need to buy. But did you know that Tylenol is the exact same ingredients whether it's marketed for a migraine headache or not. Tylenol has cloned their success and added to their shelf space to capture more market share and that's exactly what we do on Amazon. Look at this. It's the exact same ingredient. It's 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. If you go to the extra strength part for migraine headaches, guess what? It's still what? It's 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, all right? This is the idea. Leverage the experience that you already have from your existing successful Amazon listing to clone your success. Grab more exposure on page one search results and command more traffic from Amazon shoppers. Capture more sales 
we'll usually double our first try and then you can continue this process until you completely dominate the entire market. Repeat this process until you've gotten there. All right, the sky is the limit. Here's what we do. You're only capturing a percentage of market for your product, right? Let's look at your product type. At the end of the day, you're not getting it all. Is that fair enough? You're only capturing a small percentage. Maybe you're getting 10%, 15%, congratulations. But the idea, you're not getting it all, right? You're sharing this with other sellers. Competitors are getting the rest. When you implement this strategy correctly, you can capture the lion's share of all the sales for your category. We've been doing this successfully since 2014, my friend. The idea is easy to teach, but it's very, very difficult to learn, all right? So pay attention to this. This is where you turn off your phone, okay? And you stop searching uh, Google or whatever you're doing over here on the side, and you listen and try to grasp this the first time because this will be the most profound strategy that you can implement in your business right now, I promise you. It's simple, but it's very, very powerful, okay? Let's say that your type of product is producing 1,000 sales per day on Amazon across all the sellers, brands, and listings. Your listing is capturing just 100 of these orders, 10%, fair enough? If you had another successful listing that could also grab 1,000 orders per day, then you double your sales, right? Right. We've repeated this process up to seven times with similar results. Other listings are grabbing those other 900 orders. Why not be you? Why not be me? But you have power as a seller. As a private label brand owner, you have the power to decide what is considered a new product simply by relabeling with a different UPC. Think about this. Amazon doesn't question Nike when they release a new sneaker, right? They just scan the inventory into the new listing. Well, here's what you need to do to get this done. Clone your successful listing by relabeling some of your product with a brand new UPC, build an entirely new listing with different images and text, and then clone all of the activities that you already know made you a successful seller in the first place. Are you loving what you're seeing so far? I told you it's a simple idea, but it's powerful. All right, all you're doing is grabbing a little bit more market share within that category and that product type that you're selling. And every time you do that, you're taking another percentage away from the total addressable market. It's pretty simple. If your competitors are getting the other 90% of the orders, why not take a little bit of that yourself, okay? I'll stick around and I'm gonna answer some questions through Facebook after you watch this video. So if you have any questions at all, just send those questions to CS for customer support at postpurchasepro.com. CS for customer support at postpurchasepro.com. And with that, let's jump into strategy number two, which is the Amazon listing value stack. Pardon me. And the idea here is we're gonna create a listing that cannot be ignored, cannot be competed with by creating an offer that's so good that your customers will feel stupid if they choose anything else. We do this by pairing your offer on Amazon with a few other quote unquote bonus offers, okay? These will be fulfilled by third party and you know what? You're gonna even get paid commissions for doing this. This strategy will get you better conversions, higher page rankings, more organic traffic, market domination, and you're gonna build a valuable customer contact list. Create brand loyalty and customer goodwill, and you know what? The holy grail is trust. Your customers will trust you more. Does that sound good? Well, let's jump in. Here's how this works. Affiliate networks, all right? Affiliate networks. They allow advertisers, product owners, Okay, to list offers that pay publishers, you and I in this case, to get them traffic. These are called CPA offers because they're getting paid a cost per action. Make sense? Let's say Nike wants to get the word out on some new sneakers that they've just launched. And they'll pay you and I $1 for every lead that we send them traffic where a customer can claim a free pair of Nike socks. 
in exchange for his email address. Then they'll use that email address to market the product that they're promoting. In this case, a new sneaker. Here's how you do this. Find some affiliate offers that are in line with your product. For example, you're selling a pizza cutter, we'll say. You'll team up with Domino's, everyone loves pizza, and Domino's allows you to give a free small pizza to each one of your pizza cutter buyers. What does this do? This creates more value in your listing, making it stand out and scream by me because you're not gonna get a free pizza with any other pizza cutter. Your customer uses your unique, what's called an affiliate link to opt in and claim his free pizza. Domino's pays you two bucks for each new opt-in. Your customer gets a free pizza. And of course, Domino's gets a new customer for their ongoing marketing. Have you ever done this? I know I have. You've entered a drawing to win something, maybe a free cruise, a car, a shopping spree, or some sweepstakes cash. Well, of course, we all have. But what are they really doing when you enter that drawing? Well, here's what they're doing. They're building a list of potential buyers who are interested in that product or service. But why, Sean? Well, they're going to use that list for marketing their products through, you guessed it, email, sales calls, robocalls, SMS, text messages, messenger bots, Facebook ads, retargeting pixels. You get the idea. Any of these or all of these. This is where the value is for the for the business, for your business, is a customer list. First though, you need to create a unique value stack inside your Amazon listing using some complementing products and services that you don't even own or need to fulfill. When you can create a product listing that cannot be compared with any other listing on Amazon, it makes it impossible for your customers to make a purchase based on price which is what causes products to race to the bottom, right? Eliminating all profits. That's not good. When your customer makes a decision based on the value, then price is only one element of the buying decision. Do you want to buy a pizza cutter for $12.99 and all you get is a pizza cutter? Or do you want to buy the exact same pizza cutter for $12.99 and also get a free personal pizza worth 12 bucks from Domino's? It makes it a no brainer. Let's look at this example. Would you rather purchase a set of new tires for your car for $1,000 or purchase the exact same make model brand of tires for the same $1,000 and also get a free premium car wash plus a free full service oil change and a free voucher for windshield chip repair and a free 32 point maintenance inspection. Which one would you rather have? Just the tires? Or would you want to have the tires with all of these extra freebie bonuses? It's not even debatable, is it? This is a simple decision. This is what we call making a mafia offer. An offer that's so crazy that your customer would feel stupid not taking you up on it. Now, do you think that an oil change business exists that would provide the first oil change free just to bring new customers into the store? Of course they would. This is exactly what they pay Groupon to do. Groupon does this, bring new customers into your business with an amazing deal in hopes that they will return again. It's not rocket science. I told you it's not magic. It's just good business. All right. Would a car wash do this, you believe? I think they would. Would a professional automotive shop give you an inspection, a simple inspection away free to bring in a new client? Of course. Think about it. If we find something wrong with your car, then we gain a new customer. It's a no brainer, right? Now, you can see the power in this, can't you? Here's an example of two products that are identical with a different value proposition. You make the choice. Here are some magnetic eyelashes, okay? The price, I can't even see it, it's too small. But these magnetic eyelashes sell on Amazon, all right? Here is a competing offer, exact same magnetic eyelashes for $17.99, pardon me. But look what happens there. Look at the only difference. The price is the same. The product is the same. The only difference, my friend, is that when you buy option two, you also get free laser hair removal with purchase, right? You get free premium mascara, free hairstyler, and free eyebrow gel color, whatever that is. This is what we're talking about. This is how you compare. 
Do you just want the product or do you want the product with all of these freebies? That makes it a no brainer, right? If you had to choose, which product would you buy? Of course you want the product that gives you all of these premiums. Who wouldn't? Now, before you go and try to convince yourself that this is too difficult and it's too hard or impossible, listen to this. Products and services already exist through affiliate networks where marketers are hungry for new contacts. Many companies that you're already familiar with have these options available. They have offers for free giveaways, samples, discounts, and all these other types of things that you can offer to your customers 100% free and get paid for it. You won't need to support these products. You don't need to fulfill these products. And the best part, my friend, these marketers will pay you to give away their products for free. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? A dollar fifty, two dollars, four dollars, twelve dollars. Some in some cases for giving more value to your customers. But why? Why would I want to give a free pizza? Well, these marketers have their sales process so dialed in that they know exactly what the average order value and lifetime value of all customers, and will happily pay you in cash for the traffic you send. Besides. You pay Amazon for sponsored ads, don't you, to send traffic? This is a very similar scenario for these retailers. Would you give up something on the front end to gain a new client, possibly for life? Of course you would. Second, where do we go find these products? This is easy. Let's start here. Go to OfferBolt.com. OfferBolt.com is an affiliate network. It's one of the largest out there this one is actually a network that aggregates all the other affiliate offers together into one place, making it, let's call it an affiliates affiliate. There are thousands of networks. Look at this list of giveaways that pay you commissions for giving away free products to your customers. Here's that, that eyebrow color kit that I was talking about, and it pays you $1.30 for every time you give one away. Here's the hair curler, another $1.30 in commissions. Give away this um, uh, premium mascara, get paid $1.30 for doing that. Pretty ridiculous, right? How about this uh, hair removal laser device? I don't know what it is, but if your customer claims one, you get $1.30 per lead and they get a free sample product. You can give away candles, make three bucks. How about Popeye's chicken? Who doesn't like chicken? $3 commission. You can give away this Domino's pizza, $3 commission. You're getting the idea here, right? Here are the Nike socks, $3 commission. How about coffee, $3. Red Lobster dinner, $3. What about razors? I mean, we all use razors. If you don't, maybe you know somebody who does. Give away free razors to your customers. You win, they get a free razor, and whoever the marketer is gets a free customer, and you get three bucks for it. All right, here's Burger King. How about a Burger King value meal? Free for you, pay me $3 and go get your free value meal. Burger King's probably gonna make you download the app to do this. No problem. You win, they win, the customer wins. It's super easy to find a few free products that fit your niche too. Here are a couple other places to look. This is by no way a complete comprehensive list, but this is what we like, ClickBank, uh, offer vault, share a sale, and then uh, just do a Google search for your niche. Let's say you're selling baby products. Do a Google search for baby products affiliate network. Pretty simple. Here are the six things. We call them the six G's to win at this. Go find an offer, get accepted into the network, grab a tracking link, and then give your link to your opt-ins, gift free stuff, and get paid. It doesn't get any better than that, right? It truly is this easy, my friend. Remember, you will set yourself apart from all other offers. You'll be able to increase your price, boost your conversions, gain page rank, build a customer list that you've always needed, and then use that list to what? Market to your customers and drive more sales, more reviews. It's win, 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 because you win, the retailer wins, your Amazon wins, of course, your customer wins, and you win again. This is what you do. Go to OfferVault.com and register for a free account. 
Offer Vault is, like I said, an aggregator of affiliate networks. Here, you can search for offers like this one. This example, I searched for Domino's Pizza. This offer pays you a dollar for every time a customer submits his email. This offer gives a free pair of Nike socks and pays you three bucks for each opt-in. You get the idea, right? Just click run the offer and you'll be zipped away to the network that's hosting this offer. Now, you're gonna have to apply to the network. All right, it takes a little bit of time. They need to review your application. They need to accept, uh, they don't just accept just, just anyone. So what, the, what I mean by this, they don't accept just anyone, is they're not like you and I. You would think if you apply, boom, you automatically get approved. They need to protect their relationships with the marketers and weed out those spammers. So take some time, answer the questions, and it, it'll be worth it, all right? They might not even accept you on the very first try. It still happens to me and I have experience. So here's my advice. Have a very well prepared story for this, okay? Be willing to do a phone interview so they know you're a real person. Admit your lack of experience if you have none and emphasize this. You're using your in-house customer list. You're not spamming, hey, these are my customers. And then follow the network guidelines, obviously. Be patient because it's gonna take a little time. Once you're in, do what I do. Leverage that relationship to open new doors for other networks. Start with ClickBank, ShareASale, MaxBounty, and then search for networks within your niche. I've found some small but powerful networks who are laser targeted and focused on the niches that we sell in. When you see a competitive offer out there, click it, follow through the ad, go down the quote unquote rabbit hole and find out which network is hosting this so that you can get some too. Now, third part to this strategy, let's put it all together. You're gonna need a product insert that shows how to redeem the free gifts, like this one. It's simple, effective, with a clear call to action. Remember, the product insert, this is the insert that rides along with your product when you ship it. Pardon me. The product insert is designed to deliver the value. That are those, that's this, that, that free bonus that you're offering or whatever it is. And build an audience to use for other marketing. This is important. Do not forget to mention inside your Amazon listing this. Bonus products will not be delivered with your purchase and must be claimed separately. Otherwise, you're going to get some bad reviews. Be sure to include only one per customer because most of these giveaways like Burger King, they're limited to only one per contact. Two, you're going to need an opt-in page that automatically delivers the promised offers to your customers. All right? This is what it looks like. Choose your freebies, enter your name and email for delivery, and then submit. Now, of course, this also builds a very valuable customer list for your soon to come post-purchase marketing. More on that later. Here's what we use. We use ClickFunnels to create these opt-in page. You can use any page builder that you're comfortable with, but you're also gonna need a, an email uh, text responder. Oh, I skipped a slide there. Bear with me just a second. <laughs> there you go. You're going to need an email text autoresponder that automates the process. So make sure that this ESP, email service provider like MailChimp, easily integrates into your page builder. Because if it doesn't, then you're going to have to do it manually. And you want to make sure you automate this, okay? You're going to automate delivering the links for your customers to grab their free gifts. Here's what it looks like. When your customer scans the QR code on your product insert, they'll be taken to a page that will reiterate the offer that's in your listing, and the customer must provide an email and or phone number to collect their free gifts. But what about email delivery? You can easily set up an automation inside your ESP, that's email service provider. We like to use MailChimp for this process because it's very simple to create. You cannot do this manually, all right? We're not talking about using Gmail here. Each offer, each listing, every brand will have a unique automation. We currently manage thousands of Amazon product automations just like this. So trust me, set it up right the first time and automate this through what's called a customer journey. This tactic 
has rarely been shared outside our circle of paid clients and will significantly increase your Amazon sales in a way that other sellers out there are not even aware of. And I'm 100% certain of this because I see it every single day in my business and across hundreds of clients that we work with around the globe. Again, if you have any questions, please submit your questions to CS for customer support at postpurchasepro.com. Let's jump into strategy three after I take a sip, shall we? Are you having fun so far? If you're having a good time, just put the comments under the video. This strategy is what we call the Amazon listing tripwire. I've created numerous businesses in my career, and I've often depended on the ability to create what we call a gateway product that lowers the hurdle for acquiring new customers. Here's the problem. When you enter the Amazon game, what happens? We find these hero products that we know will make millions of dollars, but most hero products are difficult to launch on Amazon because the barrier to entry is just too great and the competition is way too high. With huge competition, it's difficult for you and I to carve out a piece of that market, right? So we've used our tripwire strategy to open the door open the first order with the new customer, and then use the customer list that we generated from our Tripwire product, are you ready for it? To launch the high profit products that we really want to sell. We create an Amazon Tripwire that allows us to use a cheaper, low hurdle product as a gateway to our sales funnel. Stay with me here, I'll explain. Remember, I was able to hit $10 million in sales in the first 18 months on Amazon, and I'm sharing our unique approaches that got us to that level so quickly. Now we use this exact same process for every single product that we launch. You'll love this product launching strategy that builds an amazing audience because you should never stop at the first sale. The first sale, my friend, is only the beginning. Instead of making sales to create customers, you'll finally be creating customers so that you can make sales, and that's the difference. And then you'll boost your profits so fast through follow-up marketing that it's almost unreal, all while blowing away any of the competitors that we see pop up along the way. Here's what you're gonna be doing. Demand Amazon shoppers' attention with an amazing, amazingly popular product, all right? This is a product that is a low barrier to entry, okay? If you can do this, with, a, with a, an amazingly popular product, I'm gonna show you an example that we use in our business, then you can command attention. Your product stands up above all over, others and says, buy me, all right, I'm the best deal. This gateway product will complement your core product and help you build a list of raving fans that you'll use to sell the main and most profitable product in your category, right? Amazing, okay? This means that even if you're selling a highly competitive product, you can use a low price tripwire product on Amazon to generate a massive list that you can upsell your core product. Do you get it? You can dig your proverbial well before you're thirsty, dominate a low barrier product in the same niche with a price advantage, which is the easiest way to demand immediate attention in a crowded space, right? Just lower the price. Then use those customers to successfully launch the main and highly profitable product where you make the real profits. Does that make sense? Are you excited yet? I'm getting ready to show you this strategy right now in three parts. First part, find a cheaper, easy to launch, low barrier product that complements what you're already selling. Think this, what else would a customer want or need immediately before or after they've already purchased my core product. What else do they need? What makes sense? Here's one of my past products as an example. The original bamboo pillow, all right? This was a very competitive product when we launched it back in 2014. But using this exact strategy, our competitors didn't stand a chance. We found that this sleep mask, maybe you've seen it, this is a perfect complementing product, right? It's a sleep product. It's a sleep mask. If you buy a sleep mask, you're probably using a pillow like this gentleman here. We found that the sleep mask 
was a perfect way to capture over 250,000 orders that were responsible for building a ready-made list of customers that could be used to launch and sell the product that we really wanted to sell, which was the pillow. That's the product where we make the profits. But how did you do it? I'm glad you asked. Here's how we did it. We launched the sleep mask at a very competitive price where we barely break even on our sales, but helped us build a massive list of buyers who have already digitally identified themselves as buyers of sleep products. Does that make sense? It's what we do next that makes all the difference. Second part of this, we create a product insert, you guessed it, that shows the customer how to obtain additional value by opting in like this. Stop, this is important. Go to this URL and claim your fill in the blank. This is exclusive only for our brand customers and only for a limited time. You can give claim a VIP membership, extended warranty, supporting product, free samples, whatever. Get creative here, okay? We have seen 20 to 30% opt-ins on this consistently. And in some cases, 80% opt-ins, 80%. The overarching idea is to use a self-liquidating offer like a sleep mask to build a list and then use that private label or that private and valuable list to sell all the complementing products where you make the real money. Crazy, right? You're going to create a value ladder where you break even on one order. The second order you make a little profit and a little more with each additional order until you finally increase the lifetime value of each customer over time. Does that make sense to you? Here are the six G's to this. Number one, you're gonna to have to go find a popular low cost product, all right, obvious. Next, get something that complements your product. Grab the low hanging fruit. These are those easy sales on Amazon with a low price. Give your customers a reason to opt in, all right? Gift them with valuable offers, and then, oh, forgot the last one. <laughs> Pardon me. Sometimes my clicker doesn't like me. Finally, get your main product launched successfully. Remember, you're selling a low barrier product at a breakthrough price, so you get massive of attention. You create those orders, get a percentage of those customers to opt in, and then use those customers to launch the main product that you really want to sell. This isn't rocket science. It truly is this easy. You must though always remember that you have to manage your new customer list when folks opt in. You have to be able to continue to drip on your customers so that your brand is always top of mind. And don't ever forget to add value to your messages while you're promoting your other upsells. We like to use what's called educational marketing to show that you're the obvious authority on the subject and never be afraid to sell more. If your customers know, like, and trust you, they will buy more. Here's the third part to this. Again, let's put this together. Number one, you need a product to use as a tripwire. Let's say you want to sell this pizza stone, okay? It's high priced. It's highly competitive. Your, your supplier wants a, a huge minimum order quantity and you want to stack the deck in your favor for your launch because a failed launch would just be too painful financially. So you scroll down to the frequently bought together section and you see this pizza cutter as an opportunity, all right? You'll build a highly optimized listing selling a similar product at breakthrough pricing so that you can dominate the market on this pizza cutter. This is much easier to sell, right? Now, you maybe you'll offer like free pizza recipes every month for someone to opt in, you know? Just get creative on this. If I love pizza, then I'm probably interested in pizza recipes. Then market your other products to the list of low barrier customers. It takes time, I understand, but this works so well for us and for other sellers. They'll be looking at you from the outside and go, man, you're just the guy that's losing money on pizza cutters, but in reality, you're eating their pizza for lunch every single day and they can't figure out why. This, my friend, is good, smart Amazon selling. Secondly, again, you're gonna need an insert that directs your customer to opt in. Like this one again. It's simple, it's effective, there's a clear call to action. Give value and a lot of it if you want maximum opt-ins. 
Thirdly, you're going to need an email text autoresponder that automates this process. This process is collecting your customers' real emails to use for your real launch. You should already have one from the other strategy, right? Here are the numbers. We've seen about 20 to 30 percent opt-ins on this. Not all buyers, not all your customers on Amazon, are going to be willing to give you their email address. That's just the way it is. Those who do, though, are those who are excited to do more business with you and your brand because you've delivered tremendous value and an amazing customer experience. We sold 250,000 sleep masks and broke even, but we collected 50,000 email addresses that we then used to launch our pillow. This works every single time without fail. Okay, my friend, it's that important. Here's what it looks like. Pick your low barrier product to use for your tripwire. Then include an insert to build the customer list. Finally, you're going to want to use the email and text marketing to drive sales to your core product. And then finally, step four, this will organically rank your product on Amazon to get a ton of sales. Does that make sense? Find the product, collect the email, all right, and then you're gonna use your email to promote your Amazon product right here. Simple, screenshot this page, sleep on it, all right? Think about it. I know you have questions. I'm gonna jump into strategy four so we can wrap this up with five, but just comment in the video below or send an email to CS for customer support at Post Purchase Pro, which you also see in the bottom right corner of your screen there. This is a lot of fun sometimes. Strategy four, this is called the Amazon AOV funnel. Now this is a little bit more high tech for those of you who are running paid ads or already doing email blasts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to use external traffic, all right, to generate higher rankings, better page rankings, more reviews, and more sales. All right, so just as food for thought, let's say, what is external traffic? External traffic means just what you see here. Traffic generated outside of Amazon, like maybe you're doing Facebook ads, maybe you're doing Google ads, YouTube, something like that, all right? It comes, it's not, originating from Amazon platform. It's coming from outside. Maybe it's a text message. Maybe it's a Facebook post. Maybe it's a, an email blast. All right. This is the ultimate way to win on Amazon. If you take what I'm going to share with you right now and implement this, then you can outrank. Are you ready for this? 99% of your competition immediately, meaning you will dominate search results and make way more sales. So pay attention. Here's why. Amazon rewards high quality external traffic with higher Amazon search term ranking. They just do, which means more organic Amazon traffic and a ton more sales. And that's what we all want, right? More sales. But have you ever actually tried to run external ads to your Amazon listing without giving your product away? It's usually very expensive and unprofitable because Amazon sellers are at a disadvantage. You don't know how to run profitable ads. You take shortcuts like rebates, which are illegal now. You don't understand direct response advertising, and this leaves a huge opportunity for more savvy sellers. Amazon puts us at a disadvantage. Here's an example. Let's say you pay $20 to produce a sale using external traffic ads. That $20 creates a $25 sale on Amazon. Not too exciting, right? Your average order value in this case, $25, all right? This is a very quick way to lose a lot of money. Don't do this unless you like dumping money down the toilet. But what happens if you use an AOB funnel to increase your average order value? Well, it completely changes the game. Let me show you. In this example, we pay the same $20 to produce a sale using external traffic, all right? That produces the exact same $25 sale on Amazon. Nothing fancy. But then, here's where the magic happens of the funnel. Then we produce another sale with an upsell. Maybe we do a down sale, and then maybe a cross sale. And all this additional sales 
come from our Amazon AOV funnel. This is where it gets exciting, right? You can only do this if you control the average order value in the customer order process. With this scenario, your average order value is $75 versus the $25 that you've seen in example one. Does that make sense? Now, this means, <laughs> let me just reiterate, the exact same $20 ad spend in scenario one produced $25 while in the second scenario where we use a funnel, produce three times the amount of sales on Amazon with our AOV funnel. Here's an example of an AOV funnel. Pardon me. All right, this is the first page of your customer. This is where they're gonna land when you send traffic to your Amazon AOV funnel. This is not an Amazon page, but it looks familiar and safe to your customer. When your customer clicks get Amazon coupon, this product is added to a uniquely structured URL that adds this product to their Amazon shopping cart automatically. This can only be accomplished with a strategic funnel architecture and a design. So pay attention. All right. You might not get this on the first time. Now, after that initial order, the customer continues through our funnel structure first and has the opportunity to add some other items to their order, like this upsell of an upgraded unit, all right? We do this before we send them to the checkout with a special URL. We may offer an upgraded version of the initial product as an upsell, but maybe they don't take this upsell, no problem. Then we downsell an additional unit of exactly the same thing. Of course, if your customer doesn't take the upsell, we're not finished there, right? We offer this additional unit as a downsell. If they don't take this, why don't we upsell to a smartwatch? If the customer says no thanks, you guessed it, another downsell. Maybe we offer a heart rate monitor. Our goal is to increase the order value with this funnel before sending the customer to Amazon shopping cart to check out with all of the items that they've said yes to. Now, we can add as many upsells and downsells as we want. This is where it gets a little tricky. Like this yoga mat. Are you with me? Maybe you don't even own this yoga mat, but you want to influence the frequently bought together relationship section of this yoga mat because it's getting a ton of traffic. Okay? And so that if you influence this and get your product listed in the FBT frequently bought together section, you're going to get a ton of free traffic from this popular product. If we can create enough sales on Amazon that include our product along with an, an amazingly popular product, then Amazon will see it as an obvious relationship with these two items and begin to offer them together with the yoga mat buyers in the frequently bought together section. All right, and they simply do this by saying add both to cart. So instead of just having your customers check out with a hula hoop, a percentage of your customers will take your upsells or downsells, which drives up the average order value, finally making paid external traffic profitable for Amazon sellers. The best part, you can use these types of funnels to drive even bigger post-purchase marketing results. Yes, you can also use your email list to drive traffic through your Amazon AOV funnel. We do it every day. If you have questions about this strategy, post them below this video and comment or simply send an email to post or cs at postpurchasepro.com. That's CS for customer support. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to use, how to get ranking without using rebates since rebates were recently banned on Amazon. How to stay hydrated there. And strategy five, as it says, rapid ranking without rebates. Sounds like magic, right? This is where it gets really exciting. In your business, how do you gain search term ranking on Amazon? Meaning, what strategy do you use to show up higher and higher in search results? So more customers will see your product and buy it. Well, most sellers until recently have been using rebates and PPC. In case you didn't know, Amazon just banned rebates. They're gone, all right? That's a quick way to get your account shut down, closed, and you're out of business. 
And the PPC, which is pay-per-click sponsored ads, sucks all the profit out of most Amazon businesses. Here is the answer. Launch to your own list of customers using email and text messaging. Duh! And do this profitably. What does this look like in real life? Check this out. This is how we launch products profitably all the time using our own email list and text list. All right, so maybe you send an email, then you send a text, and another email, another text. This is how profound this is. We are never giving our products away or paying for Amazon ads, never. It's crazy. Pay Amazon money to sell your product so they can take more of your money. Think about that one. <laughs> we just simply tap into our own customers who are already happy with us and already like us so that your product starts on the bottom of the page like this one, and then through a seven day launch, we're able to influence the page rank. By moving up the page, you'll gain more free organic exposure that produces more sales ongoing. Anytime you start to slip in page rank, no problem. Just simply send another offer to your in-house customer list. While other sellers are frantically giving away their inventory and spending ungodly amounts of money on Amazon sponsored ads, eating up all their profits like we used to, we've been dominating our categories with this natural sales strategy. Now, by moving up the page, this is what it looks like. You literally rip your product from the bottom of page and drag it kicking and screaming all the way to the top where you finally land on the top of search results for page one. This is how powerful this ranking strategy is. Here's the idea. To launch your products profitably to your own customers, this will rank your products in search results, eliminate the need to use rebates, which are now against the rules, sell at a full price, and allow you to rank your products without going broke. And this is only possible with an audience and a customer list that you own. Look at this recent uh, praise that we received. By the way, the Pro 7 campaign is perfect for my product. Some kind of bowl. The keyword rank for da 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 has also been boosted to page one, one and it also got Amazon's Choice badge. It's quite good. That's what Jeff sent over just a few days ago about his results of using email list and a seven day launch that boosted his product to the top of page one for his most valuable keyword. Now, this is time for real talk. The obvious elephant in the room here is that everything that I've shared with you here today, with the exception of the creative cloning, requires you to have what? An email list, an email service provider, an opt-in page, and a product insert. That takes time. If you need help with anything like that, please send an inquiry to CS for customer support at postpurchasepro.com. If you have any questions about today's demonstration and these five amazing strategies that I've shared with you, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's CS at postpurchasepro.com. CS for customer support. And listen, we have a weekly podcast. It's called Post Purchase Podcast where my co-founder Seth and I share amazing strategies just like this one every single week. And we do that in 15 to 20 minute sessions. You can simply search any podcast platform for post-purchase podcast or go to postpurchasepodcast.com and you can listen in all your favorite platforms. All right. Find us on YouTube by searching Post Purchase Pro or on Facebook at Post Purchase Pro. My name is Sean Hart. I'm a co-founder of Post Purchase Pro. It's been my pleasure to share these amazing strategies with you today. Thank you for lending me your most valuable asset, my friend. That is your time and attention. We will never take that for granted. Until next time, this has been Post Purchase Pro. My name is Sean Hart. On behalf of myself and my co-founder, Mr. Seth Stevens, thank you for sharing with us today, and we'll see you down the road. Have a great day.